What inspires me the most about uh, right now in terms of work? Um, so it, it's hard to narrow down to one thing, but I think the top two for me would be the, the, the people that I work with. Um, just wonderful, brilliant, dedicated uh, people that I work with. Uh, a lot of scientists, the best of the best in the world, um, but also the fascinating technologies they're developing. Uh, these are technologies that will enable a lot of um, new therapies to be developed for patients. I transitioned from uh, my training as a surgeon to drug development and research because I felt like I wanted to contribute to something that would have um, a bigger, broader, overarching range. Um, so there's there's a lot of value to being able to put out fires one at a time with patients, but there's also something that really speaks to me about contributing to the broader development of drugs and therapeutics that can reach thousands of patients at once. Now, the goal of the panel that I just moderated, which was driving cell therapy towards solid tumors, uh, historically or even very recently, it's been quite challenging to, to uh, get cell therapies to achieve the same kind of compelling results that they've been able to achieve in hematological malignancies. So there are a lot of groups working toward trying to achieve the same type of compelling results in solid tumors. So my own experiences, I've been incredibly lucky and privileged. I've seen um, and experienced a lot of different parts of healthcare, whether it's from the academic side, the research side, the, the industry side, the, the investor side, and I, I feel like uh, just having all the cross-pollination and seeing the different perspectives, it's really helped me be able to navigate uh, and, and try to contribute better. I'm biased. I'm all about cell and gene therapy. So any kind of progress, uh, there's there's a lot of promising uh, progress being made in the field of cell and gene therapy. Um, cell and gene therapy are a bust. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, it, there's, there's just, it's hard to drill down to just one or two most promising uh, technologies. Uh, I, myself, am, am very focused on cell and gene therapy and feel like that's a foundation that's just more recently been set and is very valuable. Um, I think that foundation is going to continue to be built over time. Um, and will contribute, will be just a core, um, a, a, a core option, a core modality uh, for patients the same way monoclonals and small, mole small molecules, other you know, chemotherapies are. I think cell and gene therapies are here to stay and they're going to be, uh, become an even stronger foundation.